So I gotta check the volume because... Okay, it's just a little quiet in here. In my ears. In my ear hole. Um... Somebody's talking at me and I can't hear them because Discord's fucking stupid. I can hear you, I can hear you, but it's on the other side of my speakers and the people watching can't hear you. Okay, that's the wrong one. Uh, one more time. I think I fixed it. feet on their mother's poop. Okay, I can hear you now. That's the one you had to hear, huh? Well, I had the Windows update forced on me as well, so I had to reset all of my options in Discord and everywhere. I'm trying to think of weird animal facts. You know, <clears throat> I could dig. I could go digging for a video. But I'm not going to go digging for it to have it on here and then have it just repeat through the, through the speakers to people watching. <laughs> female, female hyenas have um, male appendages, is what we will say, for Twitch friendly terms. Alright, go back. <laughs> Excuse me. Hi, Pixel. Man, I'm so sad. Mist Mistover is so cute, but it's I'm not paying thirty dollars for it. Uh, is this a game? Scooter, buy Mistover for me. What is Mistover? Uh, it looks like it's like a more anime style, lights darkest dungeon, except it's also a Pokemon mystery dungeon. At least that's what I'm getting from it. It's uh really cute. And it's fully voice acted in Japanese. That's not why I think it's cute, though. Well, <clears throat> I'm not. I'm. It is a little bit for the bit, but I'm not going to bring up the specific bit. <clears throat> Did you know that Dragon Quest XI allows for English and Japanese voices? On Switch, at least. I actually like started the game in Japanese, but then part way through. I'm like, I actually cannot stand how the Japanese, like, voice inflection does not mesh with, like, what is actually being said in the English translation. So I switched it back to English. Uh, uh, wow. Defeated. So swiftly. Oh, thank you, Rafa. I'm hoping to feel better soon-ish. It'll happen. Unless this is like a super delayed flu that's gonna just kick my ass for the next three weeks. But I've had my flu shot, so it shouldn't. I'm gonna die. Oh, I called it. <laughs> huh, extending hitboxes, neat. I feel like this guy is, like, the only new thing with this game, is this boss. Then again, I never finished the 3DS Kirby game, so I don't know if that actually is a true fact or not. No, 
Dungeon. Mistover looks like Darkest Dungeon, except with Mystery Dungeon maps. And it looks like a pseudo Mega Man Battle Network-ish combat system. Okay. Like, <laughs> it has like the three, main, three grids that are in that oh. game. That's the only thing I know about Battle Network. That's kind of the big draw of Battle Network, it being real. All I know is the first four Steam reviews I saw were negative. So take that as you will. But the game is so cute! Mm. It wasn't $30 I'd actually buy it no matter how bad it was. You should just say to heck with reviews and get it anyway. If you like a game enough, you'll... I don't want to <clears> pay $30 for a game I don't think I'll like beyond its aesthetic. I guess that's fair. I mean, I was about to I was about to bring up points like wait. I bought I was, but then it's like I'm the kind of person that will buy a game that's from a genre and I will continue to play the game despite the fact that it's probably bad. I mean, if it was like $20, sure. But like I'm sure it'll eventually go on sale or something, right? If it's on Steam, yeah. I mean, it's been out for like what Three days. <coughs> for a while, but. Here, I'm gonna at least look at pictures of this so I can see what we're talking about. What is the name again? Mist over. One word. Mist over. Uh. <coughs> okay, I bought I bought games that are six out of ten that I enjoy. Look at how cute it is, though. I'm watching the trailer right now. I'm not going to put it up because, you know, copyright and all that fun stuff. There's a demo. I know. I realized I should have just installed the demo before yeah, I was complaining. But... Yeah, grab the demo and see if you actually enjoy it. <sighs> I don't want to I don't want to get hooked on this $30 game, though. I know that I literally bought I, which is a $60 game. And made like some progress into that game. Okay. So I see the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Okay. I'm seeing some of the combat that is a grid based style. I gotta wonder if it's like Mega Man Battle Network where you just tell people to move the, this square and do this attack, or if you actively move people. Or if it's turn based, because I did just see an active time battle gauge at the bottom of one of the first it's... images. From what I can gather, it's turn-based, but it's like you have your party formation. And it's like you can move a unit to a different grid, <laughs> but that counts as an action for your character. Yeah, this is so weird. It's got like the penciling and lining of, of Darkest Dungeon, but it's, I mean, for lack of a better term, it, the characters are weave as all hell. <laughs> I mean, for, for lack of a better like descriptor, it's anime Darkest Dungeon. That's its aesthetic. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Don't play the game. It has. You can miss. <laughs> yeah, I know that some of the reviews are like, "What do you mean accuracy is capped at ninety, being the highest?" Which means it's capped like, at seventy percent. Really actually, I would play a game like that. Okay. But like, look at some of these pictures. Like, just look at like. Uh, I was looking through them. <clears throat> I really love it's like the the character design in like the second to last one on the Steam page. This Lenny girl, I love her design so much. She's so cute. Welcome to I uh I overtake your stream with me gushing about this game. I don't want to play. No, it's fine. I've done I've done it to Lucky before. I've done it Lucky where I burst into a stream and gone, dude, this game is amazing. God, she's so cute. I hate it. I'm disgusted by how adorable it is. Please don't tell me not to buy it. Look. I still need to finish I and Dragon Quest Eleven, And I also started another Pokemon run recently. I'm gonna actually play through Pokemon Black, something I have failed to do four freaking times. Because 
I know there are a lot of people who who will uh, fight tooth and nail that black and white two are are the better version of Gen Five. I mean, I don't doubt it, considering Pokemon Black is easily the worst Pokemon game I've played. Oh, that was the bad time. Like, Oh, good. Part of it is because there, there are almost no good Pokemon in this gen. Like, straight up. Really? Because there's a lot of Pokemon that are, like, used in competitive play to this day. Okay, there, there are no Pokemon that I like in this gen. There you go. Is that better? I mean, um... I, I know that, like, the whole, whole Corona and whatever is, like, ridiculous. But yeah. If, if it can set up, Volcarona is the most ridiculous of Pokemon. I, like, went into, like, a team builder, and I'm like, alright, what is my actual team going to be? I'm going to play in this. Every single Pokemon that I would have liked is one of four types. Uh, it's either dark, it's either dark, psychic, or flying. Something like that. It was, uh, water, grass, dark, and ghost. Dark was very prevalent in... Black and white in, in the black and white generation. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, I was like, well, I'm gonna use Oshawott because it's the best starter of Gen Five because Epic sucks and straight facts, no printer in sight. But its evolution suck. Um. But yeah, you bring up. I also, I also want to. Use Either Jellicent or Swanna or um, what's the Rock Turtle's name? Rock Turtle, Rock Turtle Gen Five, Tortuga. Tortuga, yeah, that. Or uh, Carablast, I think, is the other one. That's the evolution. I mean, I can't mm -hmm. remember right now, right off the top of my head. That line. Yeah. I obviously can't use four water types. Um. What the hell? What the heck do I do? I mean, you can't. But the thing is, build-wise, from at least competitive standpoint, because I've never used it myself. Build-wise, Swana is a staller. Jellicent is meant to go down and just take it, its foes buffs with it, and. Tortuga, that line, that is meant to actually... Oh, Carablast is wrong, by the way, for the name. That line is actually meant to abuse its uh, shell smash uh, skill. Okay. So, like, it's slow and bulky, but if you abuse shell smash, it becomes... I think, like, the fifth strongest attacker in that generation? And it loses anyway, how slow it is. I'm not going to do any cheese strats. I'm just going to use Pokemon I like. Yeah, just do it how you like the it. Worst thing about Gen Five, by the way, is that um, Lilligant is a white exclusive, and I have black green, so that sucks. <clears throat> oh yeah, Lilligant. <laughs> you can get. I mean, I did trade an NPC for one, and I'm still gonna use it because the pre-generated nickname is close enough to what I was gonna use. Also, where is this? Oh, Dreamscape. There, there is an eighth location. Level fifty-five. We'll hold off on that for half a minute. So, oh, oh, is that like evil shit? Did you want to say it again without the on? <laughs> no, I don't really. Okay. Also, I hope you fell better. I only just noticed. I saw it, but I wasn't gonna point it out. Typing, it's hard. Man, uh, can you believe that Untitled Goose Game exists? And that it was, and that it was the top-grossing game on Nintendo systems in its week of launch. Top-grossing or top-selling? Uh, maybe top-selling. I'm probably wrong. Top-selling would make a lot more sense than top-grossing, considering 
it would be hard for a game that only costs 10 or $20 or whatever it is. It's 20 To outgross full launch titles. Let, let's, I mean, well, out here, let me put it this way. It, 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 for at least a week, it beat out Smash Brothers. You know, a flagship, a flagship for Nintendo. Yeah, just bodied. I'm just glad the the goose just turned into a meme. The goose is loose. The goose has been loosed. Mess with the honk, you get the bonk. That one's probably my favorite one I've stumbled across. This is across. how far we've come. Where it's like, hit any game of 2015. It's like a unique RPG-ish thing that has like a commentary on violence. Oh. And it like challenges conventional morality. Then the big hit of like 2017 is like dating sim, but a horror game, you know. And then the hit in the end of 2019 is just you're a goose. You're who's a goose. also an asshole. Yeah, you're a goose. Be it being absolute fucking ass ass wipe. Have fun. Have objectives to achieve, but just be an ass wipe. And it's like we really do live in a society. Okay, okay, Joker. Sasuga Joker. God, what? I hate that that movie came out because every time I like read Joker, I immediately think of the one that's in Smash Bros. No matter what the context is, so I'll just read. I just saw Joker, man, that shit's fucked. And I'm like, yeah, it definitely do be like that sometimes. But I remember, wait, they're talking about the movie and not about. Character. They're not talking about your main, your mains. I don't play that character. No. Not competitively, anyway. Yeah, that movie can't, like, I didn't really, I personally didn't have much uh, aspiration to see that movie, but then again, I, I do video stuff all the time, so, going to see a movie, going to see a movie, it seems like an extracurricular activity for what I do in my spare time, so it kind of, that's kind of what stops me from seeing a lot of movies. Oh, damn. Oh, I can now be level 70. Configurations. <clears throat> Alright, and we just keep going. That's a lot of hammers. All right. Oh, you realize we've already hit ready, right, dude? We actually, unless you, you don't have a way to initiate it, so. I hate people like this. Hit ready, hit ready, hit ready. For what? Nobody else is here to hit ready. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me again. 
Oh. I hate that the lag effect th affects this. <coughs> Hell yeah. Speed clear bonus, but hey, platinum. Oh. fight the big block. I mean, I'll hit ready to go. Say some gangster is dissing your fly girl. You just give him one of these. How dare you attempt to make me horribly do voiceover stuff when I when my voice is completely shot? Are carnivores? I didn't know that pandas were carnivores. <laughs> okay. That seems false considering the fact that they're major, well, as far as I'm aware, that their major source of uh, food is bamboo shoots. Well, from what I understand, it's like they are carnivores, but because they're so, because they are pandas, they can't actually hunt because they're just too dumb and slow. So they eat bamboo because it doesn't run away. I think that's how it was explained to me. Okay, there we go. I mean that 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 remark makes sense considering uh that makes sense because, you know, 
pandas have practically killed themselves falling out of trees in that were like three feet off the ground. It is really hard to make commentary about how dumb a panda actually is while still playing this game. <laughs> Oh, <clears throat> dang, not quite a platinum. Dang, don't rank up either. Ba -da -da -da, ba -da -da. Uh, we'll put telepathos. Hit ready, I don't care. Let me see this. Huh. Okay. Also, my hearing is just uh, messed up right now, so I hope the game's not too loud at the moment. There we go. Oh, just carrying the whole team on my back. I, 
I probably could have moved stuff out there if I just had left them down. Oh. Okay. So it did say... <coughs> excuse me. It did say I can deluxe upgrade level 13 gear, so I'm curious what that level 13 gear is. Of course, it's not super deluxe. Oh, the tables. Oh, it's the Platinum Lord, so this is what I'm using. More damage, more recovery, less team meteor, so why would I get it? What's on the flip side? That wouldn't be a bad investment, to be honest. But I'm not gonna. Hit him with hit him with the uh, Choto Mate. <coughs> a friend of mine talked me into learning how to play Melty Blood, and I've decided to become a uh, filthy Kohaku player. Learning her BNBs is really funny because in order to do her loops properly, you have to do uh she has a move where she can do it normally. Or she has a version of it where she, like, fakes it, and it's faster than just, like, not doing a move in that combo route. But whenever she does the fake, <clears> she <throat> goes, what the? That's the kind and of thing. you can just distinctly hear it, like, in the middle of all the other, like, anime noises that she's doing the combo. So it's just, you know, like, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, what the? Yeah, yeah, it's really funny. It's so funny. I actually can't. Concentrate on doing the combo because I'm laughing too hard every time. It it's just that jarring. It's just really funny. Melty's a really funny game. Oh, she jumped really far away. You know, I'd be better at this fight if I had actually, you know, played through uh, Curry Plant Robobot. Come back. Hey, I pressed the B button. Oh. Oh, oops. You can put me down now, Sizzy. Did a guard break. Oh, I got broken out of it. Oops. Yo, hitbox extensions, we get those. <laughs> this fight to end pretty quick because I do want to take a minute to step off camera and blow my nose.
damn it. Ooh. Done. Nobody fell. Amazing. All right. You're gonna do some disgusting noises, but I'll step away so you don't have to see it, at least. If you want me to stop eating, you can just say so. Oh. Ow. Hey, silver and first time clear. Yep. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Super Deluxe Upgrades, and I think level 10 is my stupid wham-bam mask. Ding the bell, who comes to town? It's me. Give me my goodies. Next harvest in 12 hours. Okay, 8 a.m. I'll make sure to not turn on this game. So, level 10. Uh, yep, yep. Oh. I have everything I need for this. I don't have enough for that. <clears throat> That's just fine. It's fine. I'll have to... I'll just have to get, do something that gives me red and blue gems. Hooray, final battle. I'll unlock it. Level 58. Okay. Oop, shoot. Also high Omega. Sorry, I didn't catch that right away. Get back in there. No party class. I just thought it's 21 or less. Perfect. It gives blue but not red. Wait, I made him a stocky here. Perfecto. Ha. <coughs> <coughs> Oh boy.
Bob. I don't know how I got that spin off in time. Oh god, it's like playing brawl. I have to put I do my do my inputs a full second before they happen. I'm really glad they let you experience what it's like to play video games underwater. Uh I'm sorry. Did something happen? Oh, that's my default whenever that something is really laggy. Oh. Oh, I'm really glad the game is underwater now. That's actually kind of humorous. No biggie, just throwing off 50k's. Oh shoot, I gotta hit that. Come here. Come here. Boop. I got comboed. Get down here. Got him. How many times is that guy gonna die? God damn. Man, I really don't want to eat the last slice of this pizza, but I also don't want to leave any leftovers. Uh, I've been having that because I've, it kind of sucks for my whole diet thing because I've been, I, I had, I basically did not feel like making anything at all last night. So I just threw a pizza in the oven, which is bad. And then I went over to my parents earlier today because it's my dad's birthday, and they fucking made a frozen pizza. And they made fucking made frozen pizzas for lunch there as well. <laughs> so I'm just a mess of not good for me foods right now. <laughs> well, you know what Mark Twain said. Ah, is this plane crashed? The key to happiness is to eat what you like and then let the food fight it out inside. <laughs> that seems odd, but okay. Also, <coughs> I definitely need to do something that gives me red, I'm pretty sure, to get the... Uh... Still need red and blue. I need more blue than red, though. Okay, I have some leftovers in the box. I'll be back in a sec. Alright. Hi, Farf. 
I want to have that stupid mask on when I go fight this dude. So I need lots of blue and then some red. That is oddly enough, well I also need... Sure, we'll try this. Ugh. There. Did I win apples off of that one? Did I get some extra apples anyway? Well, I got the gold at least. Hmm. 13 seconds faster. So I don't think I'm going to have my stupid mask on when I go do the fight, but I am going to go do the last fight now. With the Morpho gear. Alright. Two kids going to die tonight. It seems he's given up on uh, sanity, to say the least. Now... Wait, I was under... You know what? Let him rock. Ooh! He is Andrew boy! I hit him. That's all that matters. I'm gonna hit. Swoop. Man's got swoops. Thank you. Ow.
I I hit him with that. Okay. He's not done. There's no way that's it. I didn't even get a halfway. There we go. Okay, he got Galactonite, bitchin'. Hey gamers, it's sub gamer. That's cool. And hero. I'm not sure why he's called A on hero, but uh. Hey. Maybe oh. they just didn't localize the name because, and they just translated it because this is a Kuso game. The fuck is a Kuso? Kuso means uh, poop. Poop game. Kuso ah. game being poop game. Yeah. Okay. I have full health. Fight me! Oh, I know this attack. I know this attack. Damn it! I'm not gonna dodge that. Man, am I glad I played Kurt Superstar Ultra. Imagine playing a Kirby game. I feel oh. like I should play a Kirby game that isn't Sweet Squad and Return to Dreamland uh, and Nightmare in Dreamland. Are those the only ones I played? Uh, they have they have good difficulty for what they are. Those are fine. I also played Superstar Ultra, but I don't have that anymore. <laughs> I don't know. Kirby character designs are really good. And the games are okay, too. I mean, they definitely have a hard mode if you don't like how easy it is starting out. And they and for some Return to Dreamland actually has a bullshit mode if you really want it. Hey, I beat him. First try. Anyway, I wanted every time like a new Kirby game comes out, it's like oh, I kind of want to play that, but I also didn't get the last one, so like, why bother? Yeah, fair enough. I was like that with Triple Deluxe, and then... What the hell came out after Triple Deluxe? Planet Robobot. No, I thought there was one before Robobot. I don't think there was. Alright, list of Kirby games. D yeah, just do it, because there's a, there's a high chance I am incredibly wrong. List of Kirby Media. I guess that will do. That will do. Okay. Get hit with that Kirby, Kirby, Kirby. That's the name you should know. No, you were right. At least as far as mainline games go. Yeah. It was TD, then PP, or P, R. Why did I think Robobot started with a B? Then the store alloy. Oh no! Oh no, why you put them here? Well, Adeline and Ribbon are here. I also got Mass Attack when it came out, but I like never touched it ever. Same. Armor. It was the classic, oh, I'm gonna buy it because it's a Kirby game. Wait a minute, I have no interest in this. This is useless. This card right. is useless. All right, I bought the stupid headdress. I have now super deluxe wham bam. Anyway, I did it. I've actually stayed awake long enough for if I go to sleep, I'll actually wake up at an hour reasonable for human beings. Oh, did you, did you get your sleep schedule fucked a little bit again? Yep. 
I play Meech. Uh. Oops. I should have saved those gems. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, well, I know you. I now have to go online. I have to go play online. But hey, I now have. I now have bullshit armor. Which means, and I also am gonna do this. I'm just gonna. Oh, I couldn't apply the experience orb. Thanks, game. With Vim and Viga. I re-unearthed my capture card for something, so I was thinking about doing a, another set of streams soon. I wasn't sure what I, if I was gonna do... I'm either gonna do my last three houses run with my, like, meme build, and I haven't decided which meme build yet. I did a Twitter poll for it. Only, like, three people have voted it so far. Oh, I didn't even know you had one going. Then again, I haven't been around... I, been, I have not been around today. Or, I, I have always wanted to do a uh, literally blind Rhythm Heaven stream. I was going to do that with Fever. I have to find a blindfold, though. Uh, anything will work. The hardest thing about doing that is it's probably going to be getting through like the tutorial stages like before each level. Or like choosing stages. Yeah, well listen. You have if, to do it with the you have to do that with the pointer. Yep. But here's the thing, if the guy if the guy who can place uh, We Punch Out can do it, you can do Rhythm Heaven. Cause as soon as you find the stage and press plus, it's it's over. It, it's a wrap and I'm not talking burrito. Oh well well, I'm just a man missing you. <laughs> God, Rhythm Heaven music is so good. I can't wait for the Fighter's Pass to be over so I can have hope for a Rhythm Heaven character being in Smash. Yeah, I think the general consensus right, right now is that <coughs> is that this last character is going to be the last third-party character, and then we're going to get, like, other Nintendo reps. Yeah, basically, the thought process is, well, if it's not on a Fighter's Pass, characters on the Fighter's Pass have to come with a new stage. So they have to have new assets. Right. Right? So if it's not a fighter's pass, then it opens the door for things that already have rep in Smash. So, like, we could get more Rhythm Heaven music and a Rhythm Heaven character. Because it would be too much work for them to, like, make a Rhythm Heaven stage and then take the three Rhythm Heaven songs that are already in the game and put them on that stage instead of and the other. Right. And they could put other. But they could just there. add more Rhythm Heaven music and add, like, I don't know, the barista or whatever the hell the name of that girl in Fever is. <laughs> I need to finish Fever still. It's, uh, it's the only Rhythm Heaven game. Oh, wait. No, Fever is the Wii game. Never mind. You're right. Megan makes us a 3DS one. Thank you. <laughs> I still need to beat that game, yes. And then the GBA one was Japan only, I think. And then I actually have no idea if the DS one came out in the States. 
but yes, it did. It has lockstep in it, so it's bad. Correct. I mean, Mega Mix also has lockstep in it, so it's also bad, and that's why Rhythm Heaven Fever is the only Rhythm Heaven game. Well, so Rhythm Heaven Fever has, what can I do, what can I do, the only one for me is you, what can I do, what can I do, what can I do, tell me, tell me, now why'd you have to hurt me, hurt me, now why'd you take my heart if you don't love me? Because I can. Tell me, tell me, how to say bye now. Why are the remix songs from Fever not in Smash Bros? All of them are good. Um, because fuck you, that's why? I don't know. I can't remember half of the remix Honestly, songs. Honestly, that's why it feels like it. Or that's what it feels like. I can't remember half the remix songs, but that's because it's been forever since I've played Rhythm Heaven. <laughs> well, only three of them have, like, actual songs with lyrics in Fever. And then there's the song that Karate Man gets, and then there's the song that's in the credits. They're all bangers, though. Certified bangers. Absolute banger. I'll eat this day. cold on a big city night. But that's just how you found me way back then. And in the startled blink of an eye, I knew my life was forever changed. Go, go. Walking on a high wire. And if that's how life's gonna be, then I might as well have all the fun that I can. Yeah, that's a lot more like me. Tonight's the night right here, yeah. right now, yeah. I swear. Yeah, that's the one. God, I can't really sing right now because when you eat, like, a mountain of fried cheese, it makes your throat really flimmy. Yes, that is correct. Well, that song was a banger. The one I was just singing was a banger. And then, the, what's the other one? The other one is, uh... One day you'll find yourself and realize that you're beautiful. I really like that one, too. God, they're all so good. And, of course, everyone knows Dreams of Our Generation is a fucking banger. And everyone knows Lonely Storm is a fucking banger. So, and that's just the songs with lyrics. All like the actual, actual, like le normal level songs are also bangers. Even if you listen to them on your own. The only issue with the ones that aren't those songs is that they're just short. Like they're all like less than two minutes long. Except for the final remix. Which is like a remix of everything. So the entire sense. game. Uh-huh. It does the stupid double fake out at the end. It's really funny, by the way. Double up. Yep. Oh, okay. I think people are getting tired of playing Kirby, but I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let this experience or run up before I switch up. <laughs> It's just so... Man, it kind of sucks that no matter who the last uh, Fighter's Pass character ends up being, there is just no hype for it at all. Yeah, nobody's going to be ha happy for that character. People are pissed about Terry, and I'm I'm indifferent, really, but... Well, it's like... Well, literally anything at this, anything at this point would be like less hype like we got hero and then banjo and then terry bogard like all in a row 
What could top that? There's literally nothing that could top that. Unless there's like some underground indie game that Sakurai has a hard on for that suddenly gets in. That's about, that's about it. All right, you just confirmed the goose for Smash. Sakurai is just has a huge hard on for, for a goose game. You heard just, it here first. It'll be great. Just you just go to the character of the stream and just Untitled Goose. That would be the name of the character. I would say, wouldn't it just be goose. some shit like just Goose? No, it would have to be Untitled Goose. That's why I actually hope that character pack five character is like Yudin or like any other Dragali character just because they're gonna get hate for it anyway like so I could be happy and then everyone else could still be mad but they're not gonna be as mad because literally anyone would have been a disappointment for them yeah at this so point like, at this point literally anything like after the last fighters pa like you said it after the last fighters pass character even the la uh, last Fire's Pass character, nothing, nothing will make people happy. It's a downhill slide at this point. It's like we've already gotten everything we could have asked for. Except Rex. Ugh! Hey, just let that be pack two. That'll be your that'll be the saving moment. I'm ready for it. But really, if Rex and Pyra can't have character slot 69, what even is the point? To have them in the game? Yeah, that's not a good enough reason for me. I assure you, nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> I have that. <I'll coughs> My meme folder is going to pop up on screen. Sorry, folks. Yeah, yeah, I'll look at it later. God, you're such a child sometimes. There you go. You can have it as an MP4 to share on Discord. Or a WebM or whatever the hell they call it nowadays. Oh, eh, eh, sp sp spicy sauce. It's actually really funny because I know Medea is still my favorite character in that game, but she's like, she's really not that good of a character. She's just. I mean, she is, but she also isn't. Like. It's just. I don't know. It's just. Oh gosh. Uh, it's just because. She is so much of a. Of it's because a I like her and I like the game. But it's like. I probably wouldn't put Nia in like my top 20 Nintendo characters list. Even though I love Xenoblade 2 so much. I don't think I put any Xenoblade characters in that list. Except for maybe Shulk. Shulk's really cool. Hey, we get to go visit Shulk Boy again in the future. Uh, what do you get to do? I'm not buying that remake. I'm buying the remake because I have the I bu I found the original for forty five dollars a while ago. Never touched it, but I mean I'm still gonna buy the remake because play the best version of the game. Lol. I do like the Xenoblade. I do like the the game looks really good with the Xenoblade Two style. So like it's not a bad remake. It's just I'm not gonna buy it because I already played the game. Didn't like it enough to warrant buying it again. Two's a better game in my opinion. I know that's not the general consensus. Alright. Who wants to watch me get bodied? <sighs> um. Alright. Fight me. Uh, okay.
Oh, A in Hero, Light Field has appeared. I right. who said you could do that? <sighs> uh So this so I'm just fighting Brawl Man tonight, got it. <laughs> I don't I'm, see any. I don't see any frame two down airs. Listen, NATO was busted, but the really busted thing about Mennonite was, well, prior, his there were uh, three things that were busted about Mennonite for all. One of them was NATO. Uh, the second thing that was busted was, uh, Dare came out on frame two, and you could do like three of them in a short hop. You cannot trade with Meta Knight. He, he would just like, he would just air camp you because his move comes out on frame two. And he can just do it forever. And then he also had frame five up the edge shield, which killed really early. And. Please throw, please throw the sauce. Tough. Thank you for throwing the sauce. Sauce. Can you please throw more sauce? I'm a little, I'm still a little hurt. Oh, oh! He's a holy warrior. <laughs> uh. Swords of revealing light. <laughs> oh, that's that's death. I'm pretty much dead. Oh! <laughs> Everyone just fucking died. <coughs> I get to play the game again. Save the sword, man. That's the bad idea. I'm going for the sauce. Get up, get up, get up. Okay. Note it, I cannot. I want that heal so bad. Hey, uh, hey, a stone tablet. Uh, all right, tornadoes. Galactic tornado. Running, 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 stopping. W working on it, but these are all CPUs. I should mention. I couldn't tell. Based on their not having names. Oh. <sighs> Whatever. Point is, the move is dumb. Point is, he point is, he's the only character that is still banned in a game, or still banned in a Smash Brothers game. Mm. Pretty sure he's still banned in. He Brawl. was never banned in my region, but that's not the point. Yeah, Hero was banned in Australia for a while. The ban has since been lifted. Yep. Man, you know what sucks? It's actually easier to pick the spell you want in German than it is in English. Is 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 it just because it's shorter, or because you speak it's German? It's because none of the words look the same in German. You know, because in like if you're like most, if you're like me and you like read the first three letters, before, and you're like when you have cuck crackle and cuck clang and crackle slash. Uh, all these other, yeah. You, or, and Kamikaze. And Kaboom. And, and Kaboom, yeah. It's like really hard to get the one you want. Yeah. But like in German, it's like, oh, I want the speed up spell. I'm going to look for uh, Multi Geschlang Gagong Gagong. 
It's like the longest fucking word imaginable. I'm like, that's the one I want. I think it's the... Hey, 80 apples for defeating this, the, fin the true final battle. The Galactic Knight sticker is now available. A new party quest has been added. Hit the credits know, button. Like... I can still hear you. I'm just gonna blow my nose again. Or, you know, it's like, uh... <sighs> They're all just different words. None of them are, like, similar. Oh. But, yeah, it's... Or it's like, oh, I wonder what boing is. That's sounds like a, that sounds like zoom, or bounce. That's bounce. Okay. Boing. I think zoom is just teleportation. Yeah, it is. So the benefit of your years of of learning German has paid off in Smash Brothers. Except it doesn't, because everyone else plays in English, so if I'm actually playing with human beings... <laughs> uh. That's okay, only like one person actually plays Hero, and he's a homie, so I don't mind losing to him. Also, this still weirds me. This still weirds me out that this is that there's Eng there's, there's English lyrics for this so, for this. Baby, I'm a broken man. I'm just a shadowy storm. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm just a man. Missing you, please understand. Without you, that is not the right key. Whatever. Oh, you know. Oh, uh, I still have to go through a couple other games this year before the year's over. But <laughs> this this game. Probably, uh, oddly enough, I think I would actually put this game in, uh, you know, around 9 or 10 right now for games of the year for myself. God, what games have I even played that came out this year? Uh, I have a document here of games that I am either considering or going to put on my top 10 list because I do that every year. And I figured, hey, let's actually list the games now instead of just... Let's list or let's list the games as I get them and play them instead of just at uh, no uh, you know November thirty first going, shit I have a month to get this video done. Ah, imagine posting your top tens of the year in a video. Let's see. Right now the list is, uh, oddly enough Tetris ninety nine came out this year from what I know. Goose. I haven't played Goose, so I can't put it on here. I'm just thinking about like what I played from this year. Goose, uh, Remy Lore, I... Cra Crafted World, Risk of Rain 2, Cadence of Hyrule, Team Sonic Racing, Crash Bad. Team Racing Nitro. That's a follow. Who are you? Alex Ortiz Lucito. Thank you for the follow. Wow, I'm surprised he even said that. I said November 31st because I try and get my top 10 video out on New Year's Eve. I try to get my top 10 video out on New Year's Eve every year. And <clears throat> November 31st, it's like I haven't written a script or recorded anything or recorded footage. I haven't done anything I need to do. Whoops. Hey, you know what sucks? Smash Sounds good, Alex. Smash Bros. isn't going to be on any top 200 list because it came out top 200. Top, top 10. Top 20 list because... It came out, it came out la last year. At the end of last year. I put it on my top 10 list last year. I think it was number two. I can go look at it. It was number two or three. Yeah, it's not going to win any of the game awards, that's for sure. No. Unlucky. It's going all right, Alex. I, uh, I'm a little ill right now, so that's why I got the whole Barry Manilow vocal range going on at the moment. Uh, let's see. 
Mario Maker 2 is on here. Luigi's Mansion 3, I know I'm going to play the hell out of that. Oh yeah, Bloodstained. I forgot about that game. I need to play more of that. Kirby Clash is on this list. River City Girls is on this list. Dicey Dungeons and Indivisible is on this list. So far. Ah, oh, Dicey Dungeons is such a good game. It is. Hey, that's why it's funny, because November 31st doesn't exist. Listen, I don't, I don't, it is even my birth month. I don't even keep track of, I don't even keep track of that stuff, man. That's funny, and I should have called you out on it. However, I'm really tired. <laughs> I don't care, man. You face so many hardships, I know well, it was easy. After all that, you can, uh, your deeds will surely go down history. Now they'll become legends. You know, I, I I was thinking about how there's one crime show I used to watch, like, killed off my favorite character halfway <laughs> through a season randomly, and I was just so offended I stopped watching the show at that moment. Alright, who's the other character that's just randomly out here? Really? No other, no other character showed up after I beat the game. Bull. Eh, they'll find another final, final, final battle to throw in there. That's it. Eventually, GM. You know, it's like DLC down the road or something. Oh my god, there's super variants. Zupa. Alright. One kid gonna die tonight. <laughs> Couldn't join this game. Yeah, rooms fill up really quick, oddly enough. I'm just gonna hit ready. <laughs> Would you count Dragon Quest Eleven S as the game that came out this year? Because it's technically a game from 2017. I don't know how I would label that one. I I guess it would be your own personal call, to be honest, because I'm putting a. I am putting, you know, Crash Team Racing Nitro Kart on there, which is a game that came out, technically came out, uh, frick, what is it, 20 years ago? Anyway, we have, uh, Celestial Splash. Yeah. Oh, I can move. I. I used to go game so far. Although I had to stop because it be it it was too much for me. Uh, I is the newest game from the mind that brought us to the Zero Escape games. And you know, you've seen Jamie play them. You know how those games are. Pseudo science and fuckery abound. To the pseudoscience and like nonsense. I had to stop because the game really wanted me to care about this girl who uncovered like, like some like super secret robot conspiracy or whatever. And she's like being attacked or she's being hunted down by a secret society. But she's literally a Minecraft YouTuber at the same time. So I'm like, this is too much for me. I'm what? getting whiplash just reading this. I have to take a break. I'm not even that far into the game. Like, you're not even making this as a ha, -ha thing. She's actually portrayed as a Minecraft YouTuber. She... Well, she's a Minecraft Twitch streamer, I think, is how she became, like, the, she gained notoriety. Okay. Or, you know, copyright-friendly Minecraft. It's literally Minecraft. Minecraft. We like Minecraft. <laughs> um... Oh. On Black oh, Super Mario Party was last year, right? Yeah. I liked the game, but there's a lot of people who don't who didn't like that game for whatever reason. I mean, it's not the best Mario Party game. No, it's not, but it's, it's I'd it's, say it's probably like It's definitely I think when middle. I like made a Mario Party game tier list a while ago, it was in my I will only play this if other people want to play it and not specifically any other one tier list tier, which was I think the only other one in that tier was the first one. Like, you know, a, a low B, high C kind of thing. Uh huh. It's on the Switch, which makes it convenient, but yes. the game kind of is lackluster. 
yeah, it's not so. it's not bad, but it definitely could. Do At least something it's else. a return to good Mario Party games. Oh, that's a lot of experience. Anyway, we forgot three houses, or at least I forgot three houses. Yeah, that's for you. I don't have three houses. Game. Is probably just gonna end up being my game of the year because I don't think anything can top it, unless Luigi's Mansion Three ends up being better. Unless Luigi's Mansion is a would it be banger. No, it'd be something else. Bangers for music. Ah, I have to. I or, still. Or if Mario and Sonic at Sochi ends up being better than Three Houses somehow. Okay, that's a good joke. Take that. Listen, <laughs> one of these games has Kareem the Rabbit in it. The other one doesn't. I don't know what else I need to say. Well, this is awkward. Somebody's gonna have to change. <laughs> Okay. Um, there's still games that could come out. I still have to buy. There's still a lot of games I have to buy. And I'm kind of in a. I'm right now in life. I'm at a comfortable place where I could probably afford to buy some of those games. Uh, yeah, the original Hollow Knight came out a couple a game out a, a couple of years ago. Um, a game that I th I feel like you may have forgotten that I will remind you of is uh, Liar Prince, Liar Princess, and uh, Blind Prince or whatever it came that is. Out this year, I'm pretty, I get pretty sure it came out February this year. Yeah, I still actually have to play it. I do have it. I like did the opening cutscene and then didn't play anything else because I was like, I want to be in the right mindset for this game because you know it's like something you can experience. Yeah. There are a lot of games where, like, I haven't touched them yet because I haven't been in the right mind state. Like, I haven't played Hollow Knight yet. Because I know that game is, like, super atmospheric and stuff, so I, like, want to be in the mood to play it. But I just never am because life sucks. And that's how I feel with Liar Princess. War Group came out this year, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it had to. Wait, which game? I'm sorry. War Group. Oh. War Group. I forgot about that game. Again, it's another tactics Everyone game. Everyone did. It's a good game. It's a tactics game, so that's why it passed me by. <laughs> we really are spoiled for games this year, though. I know last year I was like, making this list is really hard, because a lot of the games this year just kind of suck. But this year is really good, you know, we got, you know, we've got at least four guaranteed hit mainline Nintendo series games this year. Got the new Fire Emblem. We got, you know, the new Mario Maker. Um, yeah, the new Mario Maker. Well, I already ha I already closed that list I had. Oh. I want. I do want to play more Indivisible, but I, that will probably end up becoming me playing on stream. But I'm just not. I'm not, not in the right head. I'm not in the right head. I'm not in the right health setting right now. They play indivisible. You're unbelievable. Okay. So. Play like playing wise, the best way I can paint it. The best way I can paint that game is it's an active it's an active combat system. It's an active combat system where 
you just push one button for each of your four characters and a direction. And there's a super meter you build up to and all that jazz. To block... And all that jazz. And to block, it's like blocking in Paper Mario. If uh, an enemy starts attacking a character, you press the block, you press that character's button in time with the enemy's attack. That doesn't sound that bad. It's not bad at all. It's amazing. Like I said, it's like it's like Paper Mario, in the fact, in fact, it, and even more so because it basically has the. Uh, it's not a parry system, but it also has perfect block as well. So, Man, so you know what sucks? A lot of things, but continue. Team Sonic Racing had no content. Ugh, I beat that. I beat the story mode of that game. Nobody plays that game online. Yeah. At least I the, am aware. At least on the Switch it version. It sucks. It sucks. Because <laughs> it's a good game. All right. It's actually really funny. I actually can't play Mario Kart 8 anymore because I'm always like, the Sonic Racing games are better than this. That's the thing. Like, and I'll, I mean, I'm going to speak on the other half. Like, the Sonic Racing game is better. Is better, like, overall. The Crash t Racing game is more skill rewarding than, than the Mario Kart Racing game. But because Mario Kart, everybody plays Mario Kart. Yeah, because, but, yeah. But the worst, worst thing about Team Sonic Racing is it made me want to play the original Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing on the 360 again. But I don't have my copy of that game anymore. And it's really depressing. All right, let's see what I can do here. The original Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing is just the best kart racer ever made, bar none. Nothing comes close. Except for maybe the original Crash Team Racing, which I haven't played. Okay. No, I'm sorry. Nothing I'm... else comes close. No, it was... That game... Yeah. <laughs> ah, hey, how's it going? No, the, the, uh, if I could speak words, I'm just buying the sticker. I don't care about the gem apples. That's kind of how I feel. That's, that is how I feel. That, I mean, for me, that's how I feel about Crash, the Crash Team Racing game. Like, either version. The original or the remake? Because I heard the remake was just worse than the original game. Both. I, I'm saying both. Because I, okay. I didn't play, I didn't play the original I didn't really own the original until like eight ish years ago, and I didn't. Uh, but yeah, I didn't own the original until eight or so years ago. And, but I saw people playing it around that time, and then after seeing people play it, I learned how to. I learned how to play that game uh, better at, over time because I watched people play. It. It's like, oh, this is how you do this, and then, yeah, it's just. I don't know. I fight tooth and nail that that is the best kart racing game. And then... I think I would fall in line that the original Team Sonic Racing is is the, is the best after that. And then we go to Mario Kart 8. Listen, all I'm saying is... Wait, nope. Back up. It's Crash Team Racing. Then Sonic Robo Blast 2 Kart. I will fight on that one. Then Team Sonic. It doesn't count. It's a fan game. <coughs> Don't anyway, matter. Continue. It's a phenomenon. Well, yeah. Basically, Mario Kart 8 is number four on my list. All I'm saying is... It's not like I can take an All-Stars racing. I can pick Tails... And I can complete entire laps of a track only turning left. In only in one single left turn. Due to how the drift system works in that game. Alright. So. And that's amazing. I love going into Xbox Live lobbies and then having people be very confused and accusing me of hacking. When I'm just taking entire like just doing drifting around like 
four different corners in one drift, and they're like, what? How are you doing that? And I'm like, these guys don't pay attention to game mechanics. All right, so... Huh. <clears throat> I imagine people are going to start fl fleeing. I wonder if that video is still uploaded, actually. 